everyone, welcome to the kitchen. I've got a delicious cheesecake recipe for you today. It's really easy, it's a no-bake one, and I'm gonna make it really nice and eastery, but the actual recipe you could do like anything you wanted. I'm doing a cornflake base, and I've just crushed them up, and I've got some melted chocolate here, which I'm gonna um, stir into that, so. So you just wanna completely coat all of the cereal. And I've lined a tin, so I've put a circle of paper in the bottom and around the side, just to make sure the cheesecake comes out nice and easily. I'm just gonna dump it in. In it goes. Press it down like that. Just put it in the fridge for about half an hour, or you can whack it in the freezer if you want it to be even quicker. And then we'll come back and we'll mix up the lovely filling. Ta-ra for now. Now I'm making up my filling. I've got some double cream, which I'm gonna whip, some melted chocolate and some cream cheese. So first of all, you just wanna whip, oh, whip the chocolate, whip, whip the cream to soft peak consistency. So that's just what you want. So it's still fairly runny, but that's a very, very soft peak. Beat the cream cheese. So it's nice and pale and creamy. That's looking nice and soft. Got a nice heat tablespoon of icing sugar as well. Just to give it a little bit of sweetness. I'm going to grab my tin, so that's now set nice and hard. Milk chocolate goes into the cream cheese. Stir it through to combine. In goes the cream. Fold everything together. Pour it all in. Oh, it looks lovely. Creamy. Tastes really yummy. Use a palette knife or if you've only got a spoon, use a spoon. But what I'm doing is just encouraging it out towards the edges. I get a bit obsessed about trying to get it really flat. But basically, get it as flat as you can because it is going to have um, a nice kind of white layer on the top so the Easter eggs will pop. And there you have it, a lovely milky cheesecake. Pop it in the fridge to set and then we're going to cover it in a lovely pouring ganache. So farewell, Mr. Cheesecake. I'm making the ganache. I've got some chocolate in here, some melted butter, and I'm boiling some cream. This is how you make it so... I just need it to come just to the boil. It's nearly done. It's, it's done, it's done, it's done. So you need to pour boiling cream all over the top. On goes that butter. Plate on. Just needs to sit here for about three to four minutes until the chocolate's melted, and then we'll stir it and bring it together. It'll be a lovely pouring consistency, and we can flood it over the top of that cheesecake. Okay, so literally, get a spoon keeping it in the center and just keeps all that like, stirring it. Look at that, see it's getting less lumpy. They make this into a lovely sweet fondue, couldn't you? See it's nice pouring consistency there. Lovely, so that's perfect. It's not too hot now. Um, just double check before you do pour it over your cheesecake. That's just kind of slightly warmer than body temperature. That's absolutely fine. So here is a cheesecake that I made earlier. Yes, we're gonna have three cheesecakes to eat, but that's all good. Probably give most of them to the neighbours. Pour the white chocolate on the top in the middle. Just let that cascade over there. Gently, so that comes out, out to the edge of the paper there. And that will just seal over the top of the cheesecake, make it look nice and smooth. Gonna give it a bit of a shake, tap it on the surface. Put it in the fridge until it's set. Got some flakes and some eggs, and I'm just gonna make some little random nests all around the top. Make little circles, just rough ones. This is really fun. Aw, looks cute, doesn't it? There you go, look at that jolly Easter cheesecake. Oh, I can't wait to tuck in. I'm not gonna break into it now because I'm gonna take a nice picture. Everything you need to make this is just down there. Um, if you like the video, or even if you didn't, please subscribe because there'll be more videos coming soon. See you later. Bye.